good work at the breakdown there for Bath, just trying to slow it down. Didn't quite get the turnover. It's gone backwards off a Bath player. Playoff. Provided the dummy runner, Homer. Out of the back door to uh, Joe Thock and a singer. First time we've seen him today. We've seen a lot of done. Burns and now Stoop does take the ball. First time they have punctured Quinn's 22, but it didn't last long. Number 11. That's um, Joe Thock and a singer. Losing his footing as he went to clear out. And, uh, tough penalty pill to swallow for Bath, having made such a dynamic break through the middle. There's plenty of power in this Bath forward pack. Elliot Stoop put into a hole by Freddie Burns line, and... That's fine, that's fine. Uh, who is it? Is it Walker? No, uh, Wallace. Reinforcement. He won't be the quickest chasing this ball, but he's not far away from it. He might be the highest, and he was. <laughs> uh, a little bit of a coming together. And, uh, yeah, it's a knock on. There we go. Never going to get there. Actually pulls out of it, tries to pull out of it. Freddie Burns just to use the big men, cocking his eager just inside him. Roberts outside, easy gain line. Well, here he goes, cocking a singer. Left London Irish behind at the end of last season. Duns beyond Burns, but instead he goes back to Willison, who doesn't quite sort out the kick, but wonderfully taken by Joe Thock and a singer. Back to Roberts, who comes back home and scores. And he celebrates in front of the Bath fans. Yeah, they want to check it, but I can't see too much wrong with that. Willison just gets lucky with his prod through, that he manages to get a second foot on it. Let's hear what he's got to say. Yes, Matt, I heard that. OK, so we just first we'll just check the ricochets to say if there's a knock-on. And then following that, Roy thinks it's come off a bath shin, and whether the next player to gather it is in an offside position. Ah. OK, so checking uh, knock-on and then offside. So has Thock and a singer overrun Willinson initially? So Roy is uh, Roy Maybank, and the voice we're hearing is David Rose, is an old friend, TMO today. So he's behind at the moment, he keeps going. That's all right for me at the moment, that's OK, the pickup's good. Manages to stay on his feet, that's fine, that's a try. Yeah, I agree, Ben. He sees the space, gets the ricochet, but I think Thocken and Singer is still onside at that point. This is a clean pickup for me, no knock on. Does well to get back to his feet. Here it is here. Still onside. Look at the line, yeah, that's yeah. fine. Wilson on the line, Thocken and Singer behind it. Try. Matthew. Yep. Yeah, there's no off, there's no offside Try. and no knock on. Try. That's a nice combination between Thock and a singer who had to get down low, Hughes, and you've seen those knocked on, but he got down and he had the wherewithal to find Roberts as well. It's a tough skill just because the ball's bobbling really horribly for a winger there to run at full power to check, to check to make sure that he's still onside to pick it up, get back to his feet. And then find Jamie Roberts. Really good bit of skill. It's a, it's a still day in the southwest corner of London, so just the angle for Freddie Burns to fret about. Quite first punch delivered by the uh, visitors, though they lead 5 0. All started from that scrum. Ugo was pointing out it might have been Jamie Roberts did it up. It's Thock and a singer who carries into Marcus Smith, carries him with him. Good tackle from the 10, but he's always going to Homer in the outside channel. Instead, on the bounce, it's Thock and a singer takes on Walker. And this man is on as well. Alad Brew has replaced Tom Homer. We assume that is simply for injury. We'll get that confirmed, but. Um, Brew is on. Here goes Stock and a singer. Oh, that's beautifully done to find Willison. Runs into a little. Oh. Oh, the top to Stock and a singer. Stretching, testing this Quinn's defence at the moment. Some big man with some very dexterous touches at the moment. Willison once more.
has to get on the weaker shoulder of Marcus Smith and Rocket and Gurney and gets it to Fokker the singer. Now, if he's got that down, that is a work of artistry. Again, the juggling ball, but again, Joe Fokker the singer may well have scored. Try yes or no. Okay, thanks. I think it's a try. I think it's a try. And talk about body management. This um. Oh, and if he's held That's it. That's okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. that is ridiculous. Wow. He was actually losing contact with the ball as Wallace came in. Now, did any part of that leg touch the line before no. the ball? That's a try. Matthew. He's not in touch and he has control of the ball. You know, what a try. All six foot three of him, 18 stones of him, and he controlled himself wonderfully. Absolutely brilliant, and it just shows the danger which his bath back three have. When you're able to layer on Rock and Dinguini with fucking a singer, you create absolute mayhem. Couple all of that with that kind of finishing ability, and that's how you score tries when you, when you shouldn't have perhaps earned it. Brilliant, world-class finishing. So it's just, it's so good. Got so much love, not just for that offload, because it's one hand from Rock and Dinguini, and then one hand from Fock and the Singer. Not only has he been tackled, been forced into touch. 18 stones, but delicate hands. Here's Brew and those fast feet, and here's Fock and the Singer once more. If he gets away, he'll score. even more spec surely he hasn't scored up. from that the flags up and harlequins are playing well roy maybank has his this, flag in the air and this will need a check Matt, just Matt watch the control this. of his feet Good, whether he goes out in the end or not watch how he stops himself going in touch at the beginning for touch and grounding matthew okay, slows his feet huge strength hang on time off if he's going at full tilt, he gets pushed into touch here. But look, look at those eyes on the touchline. Almost backing off it. Aaron Morris doing does really well to hold on. Does he? Look at that. That is stunning. Feet are up. This is a try. You're joking me. Oh, no, no. Hands down. Hands down. Hands down. Oh. oh, my word. Oh. Oh. Give it him. <laughs> Just give it to him. <laughs> Well, it was well Matthew worth another look. Decision. Here's David Rose. <laughs> Matt, I've got a decision. It's no tries. Hands in touch before he grounds the ball. We've had some moments this season, haven't we, already? And I think if he scores that, that trumps everything that we've seen in the opening three rounds. Oh. Offloading and burns, and not quite that time for Thock and the singer, but again he gathers um, the stray ball and now he's using his feet. Look at this from Joe Thock and the singer. Goodness me, he's going on his own again. Again one-handed. That was lost forward in the end. That's the danger of carrying the ball in only one hand. It was the danger of the bouncing ball as well. Everyone at Harlequins, they just stopped. You know, it wasn't a smooth transition there. He's having to turn backwards, picks it up, and then he's away. The Harlequins team doesn't react. Big step off his right. You're right, he does hold the ball in one hand, almost gets away with it and lose it. But it just once again, just shows the threat. He spent a year in the championship with London Irish, wasn't exposed to us at this top level. And what a good move to Bath it seems to be so far. But he was one of those players, Ben, who the likes of Nick Kennedy were talking a lot about um, over the last couple of years at London Irish. I've this first three games now. What's apparent is the amount of bodies that he drags into him. And yes, he's made the mistake there, but he is constantly looking for the offload. So as a defender, it's almost impossible. You've got a big very good stepper very fast but you have to send bodies in to stop him and as soon as you do he's looking to see where you've come from and exploit that space Underhill and co getting extended runs at the start of the season walker trying a bit of his own magic over the head of thock and the singer but again the one-armed bandit holds on to it 
He is allowed to use both hands and not change the regulations, have they? That was brilliant, man. It's just astonishing. Burns enjoying playing on the front foot. Look at this, look at this. Again, one-handed. It's not going to sing her. It's mesmeric, and it is Bath in full flight, and they've got the bonus point. And we're talking earlier about Harlequin's ability to finish off their opportunities. Look at this. Absolutely brilliant interplay, manipulating the defence and then creating holes which you exploit with the inside pass. Charteris does the right thing, holds on, and they don't panic. They roll through the phases, and then Freddie Burns take a bow. Edges that right shoulder through the contact, forces the outside defender to hinge in on him, as Rocker Dunguni did earlier on, and then delivers the ball behind the back to Thokken Singer. Well, that's the bonus point wrapped up for Bath inside four to six minutes. Harlequins had only conceded three tries going into today's match. Four within four to six minutes, certainly not going to please Paul Gustard. Yeah, Freddie Burns just goes back down to the blind side. A few of the Harlequins defenders on their back heel, just switching off just a little bit. And Freddie just manipulates them, gets that ball away. And at 18 stone and no defenders in front of you, certainly not going to finish it. Burns, Morris, in space, breaks one tackle, needs two to bring him down, just short of... Initial player slipping over but managing to get back to his feet, they've still got the nudge on, held a lot of those Harlequins defenders in. Now they're straightening up but they've been stripped and this will be the danger as they commit to their attacking play, do they lead themselves? Uh, here goes Brew and here goes Thokken the singer. On to here. Ward away quickly, that's gone loose. Palatow with the knock on. Fokken the singer again, one handed. <laughs> 